I would remind this council that based on the currently available information, the United States has assessed that members of Russia's forces have committed war crimes in Ukraine. Every day we see more and more how little Russia respects human rights. And that is why I announced yesterday that the United States in coordination with Ukraine and many other UN member states will seek Russia's suspension from the UN Human Rights Council. Given the growing mountain of evidence, Russia should not have a position of authority in a body whose purpose, whose very purpose is to promote respect for human rights. Not only is this the height of hypocrisy, it is dangerous. Russia is using its membership on the Human Rights Council as a platform for propaganda to suggest Russia has a legitimate concern for human rights. In fact, we will hear some of that propaganda here today, I know. And I will not dignify these lies with a response, only to say that every lie we hear from the Russian representative is more evidence that they do not belong on the Human Rights Council. 140 UN member states voted to condemn Russia over its unprovoked war and the humanitarian crisis it has unleashed upon the people of Ukraine. Here's my message to all of you. Now is the time to match those words with action and show the world that we can work responsibly. And I share President Zelensky's view that this moment requires responsible world powers and global leaders to show some backbone and stand up to Russia's dangerous and unprovoked threat against Ukraine and the world.